Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another Pandora video. So today we are going behind the scenes and I'm showing you how I keep track of what charms I own from Pandora, what charms I want, what bracelets I'm working on, which bracelets I might want to work on. I actually do all of this not through a spreadsheet because I am not a uh, spreadsheet girly unless I have to be. I'm a visual person and so I have a master sheet in Adobe Illustrator. You could do the same thing in Canva or PicMonkey which are more uh, free options. As a graphic designer I use Illustrator for a lot of things um, and I have pictures of every single charm I own and all my bracelets laid out looks like my bracelets and then I have like little mood board inspiration and I have a wish list and I have things numbered and marked as to what I own, what I'm searching for, what I want. That way, you know, it's very easy when uh, Pandora's having a sale to go, oh my God, I want this, 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 and this, and to add hundreds and hundreds of dollars of charms to my cart and then go, uh, realistically, I can't buy $8 million of charms what's my priority? And I can easily look at this list and go, okay, these five are on my most wanted list and they're on sale. Let's get these five. Um, now that's not necessary in any way, shape or form, but as a uh, FOMO girly, a I want it all girly, I find it very helpful to keep myself in check to get the terms I truly want and not just the newest sparkly shiny thing that I want in the moment and to add to my bracelets in a way that makes sense for what they're gonna look like at the end of the day and not just, oh, I bought this really cute charm that I love, where's it gonna go? And sometimes, when, especially when I'm traveling, um, it is really fun to just go to the shore and just buy, buy a charm that you really like. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but this is the master list. When I did my latest Avengers video, I showed you a behind the scenes look at just, I have separate, sheets for specific bracelets that I'm actively working on. Avengers is one of those. I showed you the behind the scenes of how I keep track of an individual bracelet, the mood board for that, what I want for that, how I find new charms to add into that. Um, you can go check out that video. I will link it below. I also did a recent video on uh, my travel charms because I'm going to Singapore shortly. And when I do these big trips out of the country, I like to do a bit of research before I go. I showed you how I do that. So I will link that video as well. Um, but today we're going over the whole shebang, the master list. And uh, I'm just gonna give you an overview of how it looks, what I keep on it, how I keep track of it. And hopefully if you are a visual person, this might help you, inspire you in a way of what might make sense for you to keep track of your charms um, cause it, it is my greatest fear that one day I will, I will leave my charms behind in this world and they will be sold on Facebook marketplace for what I tell people I paid for them and not what they actually cost. I should probably start an Excel spreadsheet of what they actually cost. Cause as of now, I just keep track of which ones I have. <laughs> Let's get into the computer and look at the spreadsheet. <laughs> spreadsheet. Let's look at the sheet. All right, y'all. So here is the master sheet and you can see it is quite a large file. I do have it all broken out into layers so I can turn on and off each uh, bracelet by itself and I can easily see which is which. I also have on this entire sheet. For the most part, each white square here is a different bracelet. Um, in a few cases, like right here, I have a few that make up a stack. Here I have quite a collection of uh, bracelets that I wear together, like I said, a stack. Um, this is, you know, a large Harry Potter bracelet, my Avengers bracelet, my uh, Star Wars bracelet, Steelers, and my tree monster who I stack with my Avengers bracelet because I think he looks like Groot. So this is all pieces I would potentially wear together. I also have all my rose gold pieces down here. 
Um, so in that case, I have them all put together. But for the most part, this is one bracelet. This is one bracelet. This is a bracelet and so on and so forth. The top layer here, when I turn it off, you'll see, turns off these black squares. So the black squares show in a specific design if I have or do not have a specific charm. So say for this particular white square, this is my Disney bracelets, this right here up top, these are the charms I currently own. This is what my bracelet currently looks like. But here is what I would like my bracelet to look like if I were to purchase these charms, which I want. So the black boxes, I can turn them off and you can see the bracelet in its entirety, or I can turn them on and now I can see in order to complete this design, I would have to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine charms. And of course that may change over time. A lot of the ones in this design that I want are retired, which is why I do have them marked. I also have a few charms down here uh, that could work in this design, but I don't, like they're not as important. They might go in a secondary design or they could work in here, but they're not, I don't love them enough to say I for sure would want this on this bracelet. So I'm going to go ahead and start up at the top. We will look over here eventually, but this is a completely different section. So for now, we're just going to go through the bracelets. I'm going to put the layers panel away. And like I said at the beginning, you could easily do something similar in Canva or PicMonkey. Um, but being a graphic designer, I use Illustrator. It makes the most sense to me and I can keep everything organized. So right here, this top box is a completed bracelet. This is my very first bracelet that my husband ever gifted me. He gave me these five charms that are the middle. Um, not these two. The two periwinkle. Oh, they're not in the middle at all anymore. I have changed it. Back to the beginning. He gave me the wedding couple, the two periwinkle pieces, this pearl dangle, which pearl is my birthstone, and the dancing couple, as well as the clips for my very first ever Pandora purchase. And then everything else on here was slowly added. Over the course of three, four years, it took quite a while to collect this first bracelet back when we did not have a lot of charm money. And I thought this might be the only bracelet I ever had. Uh, then after completed this bracelet, I started work on my second bracelet. This one is also completed. Um, and I thought this would be the second of two bracelets I ever had. Obviously, I have long since given up on that thought. And now I just collect them because I love them. And it is a collection as opposed to a memento. Um, but this is the first bracelet I ever did where I really tried not to just uh, buy charms that I liked, although I do have charms that I just, you know, picked up here that I liked, um, but to kind of keep a, a color story. Here, you know, I have the periwinkle, I have pink, I have ruby. Uh, I tried here to only buy rose gold or blush and silver. And this was supposed to be a mostly rose gold design, but I really liked some of these silver charms and had to have them. Plus I, at this point I was still doing every charm went on the same bracelet. I didn't have specific uh, themed bracelets. So some of these charms were gifts like uh, this fish charm with the blue doesn't quite fit. It's fine, but it doesn't quite fit because it was a gift from my brother when we put together a fish tank that he really enjoyed. So next up, this is my fairy garden uh, bracelet. And you can see I do have this bracelet. It's large, <laughs> this flower petal one. Um, at the time when I started designing this, I also really liked this bracelet uh, with the little apple tingles. And so I wasn't sure which one I wanted. 
I did get the flower petals. But if I ever find this one in my size, I will probably pick it up just because I love that clasp. I would have to be my size and a good price because I don't need it. I have more than enough bracelets. So for my fairy garden bracelet, it is a completed design at this point, and I love it. It is mostly purples, and it has these purple B Muranos on them. It is the only bracelet that I have four Muranos on, and that is because I started with two, and then I found another two at a small shop in Mexico when we were on a cruise and I love them. They are so detailed and they work so beautifully on this bracelet. You can see I have lots of little animals and creatures and then it is a tea party because the centerpiece here um, is for my best friend. It has that purple from when I was a bridesmaid and her wedding um, and so I've included a lot of tea elements because that is her thing. We literally had two tea party bridal showers for her. Um, so it is a fairy garden enchanted tea party bracelet. I am working on a secondary design to go with this one because I had too many charms to fit on one bracelet. This design is not finished. And so far, maybe it's because the blue is more saturated than the purple or I don't love all these pieces as much, but I am not happy with this bracelet. I, I purchased this butterfly because I wanted to try to do this. And I cannot get it to look like this, even though it is the same charms. They must have something holding this larger butterfly in place. And I do I have put it on an open bangle. Um, I just can't get it in a place that I like it. And so as of right now, I wear the big butterfly on an open mangle by itself and I'm going to try to put this fairy girl in the middle of the design um, if I can get her. This is definitely a work in progress bracelet and that's okay. It is on this butterfly bracelet. <coughs> Excuse me. And I do love most of these pieces but so far I just don't love them together. And sometimes when that happens it's because they're, I, I just don't have enough pieces that I love that make them all make sense. And over the next couple years, more charms may come out that I buy and add to this bracelet, and it makes sense to me then. It may just not make sense to me now, and that's okay. Um, I never want to go out and just purchase an entire bracelet at once. To me, this is a collection. It is a hobby. It is a love. Um, and I love to collect them over time. So if it doesn't make sense to me now, that's okay. I will just wear the other one. And this one will eventually make sense. I have had to learn to be patient. And then we come to my travel bracelets. And I think, just in spite of loving my very first bracelet, probably the best of all my Pandora pieces because of the sentimental value, um, this travel bracelet hold so many memories for all the places that I've been that my mom and I have collected these charms. This may be my second favorite bracelet. And I bring it and wear it on every trip that we take. So it is definitely one of my more worn bracelets. Um, but you can see here the entirety of the charms. Most of these are travel exclusives from our many trips and if you would like to actually see this bracelet in person I will link all of the bracelets in this video that I have done an overview of down below I have done an overview of this one I have also done an overview of my pink travel bracelet so this is a small design that I stack with the other ones and I wear these pink pieces on an open bangle. Um, I like that open bangles are so easy to toss on and off. Like this bracelet is large and heavy and I love it, but it does take a couple minutes, not a million, about a couple minutes to put on and off. If I don't have time to put this bracelet and the ones I like stacked on, if I just want a simple look, this pink one by itself is great. 
Then we have my work in progress. This one is actually going on my uh, Las Vegas new exclusive bracelet. If you cut that video, it is a work in progress, but so far it is looking like button charms, Murano's, and little tiny animals. So I have my moose from Canada, my kiwi bird from New Zealand, my whale from when we went whale watching off the coast of Mexico, and my koala from when we went to Australia. And then you can see grayed out. Mom and I are actually going to Asia coming up, and I'm hoping to get the Singapore and Japan charms here. Now, there's no guarantee that I will find them, but that is half the fun. There's also a few Vegas pieces because this is my Vegas charm bracelet. Um, and of course, Alaska, Alaska button charms. So we'll see. This one may evolve over time, uh, but I kind of like it. I'm not a huge fan of the one dangle, but I haven't decided. I don't have any more dangles for this bracelet either. I will leave it on here just because I love the two Vegas pieces together and it will just be an outlier or eventually this one dangle may come live down here with the rest of my dangles. This bracelet, I wanted to have more dangles than anything else. I just want it to be like ding, 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 like tinkly, tinkly when I wear it and it is and I love it. And so I could easily add a few more dangles and it has space for three or four more dangles before it was too full. Um, ideally, maybe two. You can see right here, I have only one charm in between this Croatia and Venice charm. And so on the other side, yep, I just have the castle. Those are my two rose gold pieces. I could add another dangle in that spot because everywhere else I have two except the ends. So I could add another dangle here here, here, and here, and it would be completely full. Um, but we'll have to see. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. You know, it's all just depends on what charms we find on our trips. And if you have been watching my videos, you might have noticed I just did a video on uh, my travel bracelets how I plan when I go on a trip of what charms I might want to buy when I'm on a trip and how I lay these out. We laid these out in the video. So I will link that below if you'd like to watch. Then we come down to Disney, which is still, like I said, a work in progress. But after my my local, my, my local Pandora store closed recently, um, I actually got quite a few Disney pieces in that closure. And when I went to put a bracelet together, when I purchased these Cinderella Muranos, look how stunning these are. I love the Muranos with the sides. Um, I realized I had quite a few more Disney pieces than I thought. So I put together a bracelet and I love it. And I'm, I'm adding to it. It's almost all uh, charms with only one ding. And this dangle has an interesting story. I did not order this. It was actually supposed to be a regular spacer for an open bangle I ordered. And they sent me this Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, a uh, dangle charm instead. And I called Pandora and I said, hey, I ordered like a $10 spacer for an open bangle. And you sent me this charm instead. Uh, do you want me to send it back? I still, you know, want the spacer. And they said, oh, no, just keep it, and we will send you the spacer. So this was my very first Disney charm that I ever bought, except I didn't buy it at all. So uh, we definitely need some more dangles to balance it out. Uh, but in the meantime, she's just chilling in the middle here. And that is the entire first row. Um, you can see where I, I started here uh, collecting main bracelets. So after one, two, I started a third bracelet that is not a theme bracelet. That is just uh, charms that I buy for special occasions or when I go like to Hilton Head with my family or to, you know, North Carolina. If we take a family trip and I pick up a charm to represent that trip, um, I have this cat for my lily cat. Uh, my mom actually got me this shell that has a pearl inside for one of my recent uh, cruises. She bought me that. Oh, this rose gold 
carriage was for a Disney trip that I took with my mom and my husband. I wanted this rose gold carriage so bad and it was so far out of the budget. You don't even understand. And my husband saved up for so long to buy it for me and gift it to me for Christmas. And it is, it is the last thing he ever gave me before he passed. So it is very, very special. Um, and maybe that is why this bracelet is so special. But you can see it as the same centerpiece as my very first bracelet he ever gave me because I loved that carriage. He bought me this one for Christmas a few years before that. He also saved up for that. This one alone, I think, was $100. Ah, uh, I just loved that carriage. But since I already had the silver one and the rose gold one was so much more expensive, it felt like such an unnecessary purchase. And to know he saved up for it for me, I mean, he wrote me a note. It was, there was ugly crying tears involved, y'all, which is another reason I have my ladybug on this bracelet. You'll see I have a whole ladybug themed bracelet because that is kind of our, our symbol, another ladybug here, and then a little bunny rabbit because she's cute. Only reason, just liked her. <laughs> this one actually came with a Christmas ornament. And this one was a present. So there you go. Some some of these, you know, just aren't necessarily themed. Just add to them as we go. And so this bracelet may take a couple years to fill up the same way these two did. That's okay. Likewise, my cruise bracelet. This is my first travel bracelet that I ever started. And it is getting very full, especially for a leather bracelet. Leather, typically, you're only supposed to put five to seven charms on. This is getting more like a full uh, charm bracelet. There's still quite a bit of space. I would say like two inches of space. It cuts off here and here, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to separate this into two bracelets soon and only keep three or four charms on this leather simply because... I don't want the leather to break. But while I do have some fun charms on here, like this turtle that I got in Australia or this uh, palm tree that I picked up in Mexico, most of the charms I try to put on things like this are exclusive. So we have uh, Los Cabos, we have Hawaii, we have uh, this button charm, which is Aruba, and the birds of Paradise, which are Australia. We have Cancun. And then we just have some shells and parrots and things. The parrot, I believe, I also got in Australia. Australia was having a great sale when we were there. So uh, I got one, two, three, as well as, uh, let's see, see over here. Yeah, I got the koala. So four. I got four charms in Australia. But, you know, we went to, we were there for a month and a half. We went to a lot of ports, so they're all from different places. If you ever watch my travel Pandora videos where I show you the stores in each port or each country that we go to, I show you which charms that I picked up in those shops and which exclusives they have. It's a fun time. All right start of the next page we have a few small designs on this page so these are bracelets that I typically stack with a larger full bracelet so this this girl here I wear on a uh, rose gold like this gold bracelet here a uh, three link bangle I love it I wish I had bought so many of those bangles they are so comfortable if I find more, I like this gold one, but if I find more of the rose gold, I'm definitely going to get them. Uh, then I have my Essence bracelet. It's very tiny and rose gold and dainty. And I have this cute little unicorn. Look how, look how sweet she is. And I've paired her with these rainbow mosaic balls, which are just so much fun. I, I don't wear it that often because I very rarely am this colorful in my wardrobe. That is a whole other problem. Uh, then I have this mini design, which I don't have any of it. And the always Harry Potter Patronus charm is now retired, as well as the frozen button charms. 
uh, but I just love it. I love both pieces. I really want this dough. I thought I was getting it for Christmas. My brother had said he was going to get it. And then when he went to the store, it was sold out and he got, he got me something else instead, but counted my chickens before they hatched there. And now I am chickenless. So I will either eventually, uh, give up and take this off more than likely I will probably just leave it up there even if I never get the pieces and just dream of what could have been. Then we have for game day my black and gold Steelers bracelet. So this is a sliding bracelet. It is the black leather and I have my Steelers helmet. I have these adorable black and gold heart spacers. These are actually the Maleficent button charms, but I love the black and of course gold clips that hold it all in place. And I wear this every game day in the season because your girl has to rip the Steelers, even if it's just on her wrist. My dad's from Pittsburgh. I love it. Then we have this bangle and I have my enchanted heart clips. I love them. They are so regal and I didn't know what I wanted them for when I got them, but, oh, my brother's texting me, uh, but they fit perfectly next to Groot. <laughs> I'm going to have to call him when I'm done with this. I was telling him about some uh, personal problems earlier. <laughs> And so I love them. And three charms on a bangle is about the right amount, any more than that. And it starts to get a little uncomfortable on my wrist, which is why I vastly prefer the three link bangle. It fits better. Um, but this fits just fine. And this is my first of many free bangles that I picked up over the years. I don't even think I have all my free bangles that I've ever gotten on here anymore because I thought this would be it. And then I... My collection has gone insane over the years, y'all. Then, another free bangle. This is a free open bangle, and it is the moon and the sun open bangle. I don't remember exactly where I got this from, if it was available everywhere. I know I picked it up when I purchased some things through a friend in Singapore, um, and she mailed it to me with those other pieces. It was actually my peach blossom set here. So... I ended up using it to put some uh, Star Wars pieces on, and I have them with uh, small spacers on either side here. So I have three pieces on either side, and I wear it this side up on my wrist, and I love that. I just, I don't know why. Makes me feel fancy. Love it. Then we have another dream bracelet. I own none of the pieces on this bracelet, but I just loved these pieces, the concept. I thought it was so pretty, and I love Beauty and the Beast. I was literally Belle for like six years in a row as a little girl. <laughs> my dad still has my Beauty and the Beast bright gold dress hanging up in his closet, it is, I mean, I wore that thing every day until it died. It is tattered, but he could not bring himself to throw it away, so he still has it. Yes, I'm a daddy's girl. That might be why I have a Steelers bracelet, um, but we'll see. I love this bracelet. I love all the charms, and if I can get these two pieces, that is definitely something I would like to have, but not really a gold girl, which is why I didn't pick them up when they were available. We're just going to have to see. As of right now, the only gold I own is this. Uh, I, I just call it my entertainment bracelet. It's all these different charms. And I have showed you this live and in person. I will link the video down below. But Harry Potter, it, it has a few not Pandora pieces. So these are Genos. I have hauled those on my channel. Gengar, Toothless, Star Wars, Harry Potter's Time Turner. We have Sailor Moon, Harry Potter, Hufflepuff. I am a Hufflepuff. Uh, platform nine and three quarters. This is also at uh, Genos. Sailor Moon is Genos. You can see that on the bale here. We have oh, Norbert. It's just a dragon from 
Pandora, but I call her Norbert from Harry Potter. Uh, the Flying Key. We have a Lily of the Valley from Geno's, but I think of this as Animal Crossing as well as my little octopus is also Animal Crossing. We have Hedgewig. We have a uh, movie clipboard, clapboard, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Tinkerbell, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, it's mostly Harry Potter, y'all. And a Stingray, which has nothing to do with entertainment except that it was black and I have a lot of black on this bracelet. And we went swimming with Stingrays in the Caribbean somewhere. So I had to have this charm. This one is also Geno's. So is the Sorting Hat. So is Boo. We, we have epic Mario Party uh, battles at my family. So had to have that one. Then, of course, we have my Avengers bracelet, which you guys have seen several times lately. And I do have one, two, three, four charms on here that I do not yet own. Um, and I may switch out because I'm still not 100% sold on the Black Panther charm. I like it. I don't know if I love it. I have since purchased Captain Marvel, so we can reveal that one. Uh, but all in all, this is one of my favorite bracelets. Mm. Okay, so now we have the bottom here. All my rose gold pieces that are small designs. We have the peach blossoms, including the peach blossom, peach blossom sliding bracelet. I've done a whole video on this one. My leather and rose gold sliding bracelet with my dragonflies. And you can see ladybug charms here. My ladybug bracelet with a ladybug here the ladybug dangle in the rose gold and pink the prettiest ladybug they have ever made i love this charm this i'm not gonna say it's my favorite charm but it it might be i love what that ladybug represents and this is my favorite one uh and this one with the ladybug dangle the only problem with this bracelet is that um i don't wear it as often as i would like because the I, the open bangle, this is the first open bangle I ever bought. I wish I had bought the size up. If I knew then what I know now, I just don't reach for it as often because it's a little tighter than I would like. Um, but I've taken these two brace, bracelets, charms, off to wear on my own pendant occasionally. And now they tend to live there more days, more often than not. Um, so I either need a second set of these so I don't have to switch them back and forth or I need another set of maybe smaller spacers. Maybe if I have fewer charms on this bracelet, it will fit a little better and therefore be a little more comfortable and I will reach for it more often. Ah, uh, my Chinese fans, another exclusive set from Singapore with those dark purple Muranos. So pretty. Um, the five strand bracelet, the tennis bracelet, the pink five strand, my leather bracelet that I have uh, the typewriter on. This pendant is actually what I wear on my O pendant now. And I have it with those other two charms I just showed you. And these are Gino's charms. I have more Gino's charms than I thought, but not too many. And I never put Gino's on a Pandora bracelet that is like a snake chain. I'll wear them on leather or I'll wear them on an open mingle, but I do not put them on snake chains. Um, these two, though, it's a whole story. You can watch the video where I unbox this typewriter if you want to hear it. But these are photo charms. And I have pictures of my husband and my my family, my cats, and my husband and my dog on the back of these. And I, I love that they're photo charms. Genos does photo charms really well. I wish Pandora did. Um, but they are beautiful charms, so I'm not mad. Last but not least, at the, the top of this row, we have two more uh, mini designs. My blue starry skies. My clear 
Um, I think this is uh, always my love or my wife. It says my wife on the back. As I say, it's my, my husband representative bracelet. And I often wear it, um, uh, with this bangle right here that says always by your side. This is the open bangle that I now wear for star Wars. And I have another blue wrapped leather bracelet that I stack. Now, down here, we have some inspiration pieces. So these are charms that I do not own, but that I like, and that I might one day want to get. I think all of them are uh, retired now, so just have them there as inspiration. I really liked how these looked with this here uh, dream catcher but I love them with the unicorn. We'll see. I don't own any of the dream catchers. So if I ever get one, we may try that. You guys already know how annoyed I am with this butterfly. And then down here, we just have a collection of charms that I have liked over the years. Things like uh, the frozen charm, Dumbo, th that I've liked but have never uh, bought or had a place specifically for anything. Or maybe I was playing around with them on a design and just needed kind of like a grab spot. So I keep them down here uh, just in case I need those images. And that is all of my Pandora bracelets except for this area. So this area up here is two things. This we will speak of briefly and then not again. It is a bracelet that is a work in progress. I think I talked about it down here. This one. Remember how I said it? I, I'm not loving it. I'm not liking it. It's driving me nuts. I have whole groups of charms up here. Uh, this whole row. Things I don't own, but that uh, might work on this bracelet to make me like it a little more. I haven't bought any of them. Um, then I have this that I was playing around with. Maybe if I added some clips, you can see I have one, two, three different color clips. Uh, maybe I need some more pinks, so then I grabbed some other colors of pinks. Uh, what if I took this out and made a uh, mini design, and then I just had the blues on this one? All different versions of just trying things out. Typically, if I do this and I mess around with it and I have kind of a galley of beads to play with, I will come up with a design that I like, but so far I still haven't. Um, the only thing that I know I really like and don't have is this strawberry because my cat Lily loved strawberries and I need that for her. But you might have noticed your girl doesn't really do red. So I'm not sure where to put it unless I just do a standalone charm of that red. Um, we don't talk about this because as of right now, it's not making me happy. It brings me no joy. <laughs> Then we have this. So this is an area where I tend to bring any charms over that I don't have or that I want and I'm not sure where they would go. And it's just things that I want. Ones that I specifically know that I want for a bracelet, like this fairy, I know I want her, are numbered with priorities. So she is my number one priority right now. Typically, these are retired pieces. If she comes up, and a group, and I know she's real, um, I will buy her. I also really want this pink teacup. That is a priority. This is something I want, but it is not as high a priority. These opalescent charms, I want them, but they're not a huge priority. So this is just a spot that really helps me kind of keep track of if something comes up either on sale or it's retired and it comes up in a Facebook group, is it something that I just want or is it something that's actually on my list? Because if if I just go crazy, I would have 8 million more charms than I already do. And your girl has more than she needs. So I, I try to keep myself in check a little bit. I keep myself a little bit accountable. I do need to redo this because I think there are things down here. Like these pieces are on my want list on travel these Disney ones, none of them are up here. They should have their own row, but that Disney um, spot down there is new. Then we do have this column here, which neither of these are Pandora or Genos. These are charms from Mores. 
M-O-R-E-S-S. And I don't know why, but I just loved this little rabbit mermaid girl. And somebody had her on a bracelet with these butterfly wing clips. And uh, I don't even know if they're still available. I liked her a couple years ago. She probably isn't. But I just saved them because I liked them. I also really want this ring set. I only have this part. I'm going to get this one eventually. So there you go. If you are looking to design your bracelets digitally or keep track, like I said, this is, is more of a overview for me than a design piece. I tend to design my bracelets in a separate sheet completely and then only bring the finished part into this master sheet and put it here. Like Avengers has its entirely separate design sheet. Disney has a separate design sheet. My cruise one has a separate design sheet. My travel bracelets have a separate design sheet. Um, like I've said in the other video, you know, I just showed you my entire European cruise travel design sheet here. This is just my travel bracelets. You can see me working through everything. I just did a whole video on those. You can go watch it. And that is just this square expanded and worked out. Um, I can't say that this is the right way to work on Pandora charms. I can just say this is the way my brain works. So if you have enjoyed seeing how my brain works, thanks for hanging out with me. Leave me any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comments. Hopefully not concerns that I need to talk to my therapist about because your girl has no more money. I have spent it all on charms. I will see you in the next video. Please let me know that if you want to see any more of these types of videos, like I said, I've shown you a behind the scenes look at my spreadsheet slash illustrator sheet for Avengers and for my European travel uh, versions. But if you want to see anything else, well, let me know and I will open those files up and do a video. Until next time. Bye.